my channel. Today I'm doing a baby shower vlog. A vlog. <laughs> Today we're doing a baby shower haul. Um, I wanted to show you guys a bunch of things that I got at my baby shower. Some things that I think new moms or moms in general would be interested in buying if they're in the market right now. If they're pregnant, they're looking to buy some things for their new baby. I watched a bunch of these videos before I put all these things on my registry, so I feel like it was very helpful. And that's really the main reason I wanted to do this, um, just to kind of help other moms out there that might need ideas on what to put on the registry. I just want to mention quickly that I do have some bigger items that I will show you guys at the end of the video. Everything that I'm showing you right now is going to be smaller things that I'm able to grab in front of me. And then bigger things I'll either post picture in the corner and just explain. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. Or I'll show you guys after the fact. But I don't even have all the big things here anyway. So maybe I'll just do the pictures in the corner. And then I'll let you guys know what those items are all about. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing I want to mention is this camera. So this was actually sent to me. This is not a sponsored video, but they did send this to me um, if I wanted to mention it in a video. And I'm so happy they did. This is um, by Motorola. They're actually the number one baby camera company. So I am very happy about that. Um, my favorite thing about this, actually, let me just backtrack. You can tell I'm excited, right? So this is called the Lux 64 Connect. This is obviously the video monitor camera that I'm going to be using for my baby. And I'm so excited about this, mainly because it comes with a screen, but you can also use the app on your phone. So a lot of the video cameras out there that I was looking at, um, they did not have that option. So I want to have the option of having the phone and the actual screen. So this one has that. It's just so much more convenient because let's be honest, like I'm on my phone a lot and I don't have a split screen or anything. So like when I'm on my phone, I'm able to use this part of the camera. Um, it does have like a little stand and everything where you can stand it up and place it wherever you want. But then I can also be on my phone and I don't have to worry that like you know, I, I'm not able to pay attention to the video on my phone. Like that was a huge, huge thing for me. And that I'm so happy this camera has this or this uh, monitor has this because that is probably my number one favorite thing about it. Um, my other thing that I love about it is that it has a magnetic kind of mount. So you can either obviously mount this to the wall or you can place it somewhere like on a table when the baby's older or whatever you want to do when you're traveling and then you can just take it off. It's just, it makes it really easy. Again, I'm not all set up yet. I just finished my baby shower and we just moved. So uh, once that is set up, I'll definitely talk about this again or a little bit more in depth because haven't been able to use it. So I can't really say how it works as an actual monitor, but for so far from what I see, I really, really like it. You do need to download the Hubble app in order to have you know it on your phone just like any other baby camera but I have the Hubble app right on the corner of my phone and it's super easy if you guys can see here um, I'll put it up on the screen but it just has a couple things like baby tracker sleep and parenting tips shop now uh, comfort cloud and then obviously you add your camera via Bluetooth to your phone so I love that I can be out and about and still have access to my baby camera but again once I'm home I can just use the actual screen it makes all of the difference also back to like how it looks I just love how sleek it is it's just white and sleek and simple and it's not anything crazy or obnoxious like I'm all about you know aesthetic so <laughs> Love that. And then a couple things that it says on the box. Um, view in full HD 1080p on compatible smartphones and tablets. Secure and private connection up to a thousand foot range. Um, infrared, night, infrared night vision. High sensitivity microphone. And then the flexible magnetic mount that I mentioned. Um, and then you can use Wi-Fi to constantly you know, watch your baby while you're not in the house. So I just, again... I'm obsessed with it already but I'm gonna link a video down below that it goes into de in depth even more about it because that's also what sold me on the camera when they sent me it I watched that video and I was like I can't wait to set this up and try all these features so again really happy about that sorry if you guys hear my dogs barking can't really control that the door is closed and they're still kind of going crazy out there so 
I'm sorry. And then really quick, they also sent over um, this prenatal heartbeat monitor, which I think is so cool. Um, this is also a reasonably priced item. Haven't even opened it to be honest. I'm gonna open it and try it on camera and then I'll let you guys know what I think when I leave it clipped here. That's so cool. <laughs> when she's moving. but um, it's really freaking cute. It's like this tiny little, it looks like almost like a little mouse. And I'm just assuming you put it right on your belly and you can use it through the app as well. So just something else that's cute to have. And again, it's reasonably priced. So I think that's also something fun to either buy somebody or buy for yourself. Okay, so on to all the gifts. I'm gonna try to go as quickly as I possibly can. I'm already out of breath. I've already been filming for 10 minutes, so I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm gonna try to speed through as much as I can. And um, there, it's not in order. I was gonna put everything in order, but it was just gonna take too long, so I'm just gonna grab and go. Okay, so first things first, I did ask for a boppy. They do have really cute um, styles now. This one is more gender neutral, which I love, but I do wanna get a waterproof cover for it. Um, my mom used this when she was pregnant. They've been around forever, and I just feel like it's just a really good pillow to have. They're super reasonably priced, I think. Um, breastfeeding, not breastfeeding, tummy time, when they get older to sit up, just like, I don't know. I just feel like it's a staple. So some people like the My Breast Friend pillows, but I just went with the Boppy because I feel like they're the OG competitors. So that's what I went with. And then with that, I did also register for the Boppy Lounger. I was between this and the um, Snuggle Me Organic and the other one that totally is giving me pregnancy fear right now because I know the name definitely for sure but you guys probably know what I'm talking about um I went with this one because again super reasonably priced really good reviews um and I just felt like for the amount of money that you're gonna spend on the other products this one was just as good the only difference is this one is a little bit more on an incline where the other ones are flat so if that's not your thing then you wouldn't like this but I do like that it's on an incline, especially for babies with reflex. I think it'll help. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought that this was a good thing to have. And I think it's a good thing to have even if you have the Snuggle Me Organic or the other one. Um, because it's just, it's a different kind of pillow, but it's almost the same. But it's not breaking the bank, so it's like, why not just get it anyway? I don't know. That's just my thoughts. And I do like the print on this. I think it's super pretty. But I do want to get covers for both of them that are washable and waterproof. The only thing with Boppy is that they don't, like, make, like, the aesthetically pleasing, like, neutrally kind of colors, I feel like. They make, like, generic stuff. So you have to, like, special order that on, like, Etsy. And I'm like, oh. Do I want to deal with that? I don't really know. So as far as like bottles and feeding goes, my friend put together a really cute basket for me of a bunch of things that I needed um, as far as like um, breast bags and bottles and nipples and things like that. I went with the, I think it's kind, it might be kindy, I'm not 100% sure. I will list it down below. But I went with this system and the Dr. Brown's um, Optic Options Anti-Colic. Um, because these are just like everybody raves about these and I hope she's not colicky but this is just good to have if she is and even if she's not they're just good bottles and then this is like such an amazing system that I found out about my sister-in-law told me about the actual bags which are actually these these are the um, it's a pack of 80 in the twist pouches these are so cool so my sister-in-law like I said told me about these you can literally pump right into them turn the cap throw them in the freezer or what my favorite thing about them is that you can literally just snap them right into these bottles and you can feed your baby um, if you want. I'm breastfeeding most likely, hopefully, but I do want my husband to try to feed her too so I can literally just snap one of my breast milk bags into this um, bottle and it just makes everything so much easier. So I'm really excited about this system. Um, I did get some slow, I think it's, oh, this is anti-colic too, which is great. Um, active latch nipples in the slow pack 
slow pack slow flow <laughs> slow slow flow um so i didn't get a bunch of bottles and stuff because i honestly didn't want to overdo it i don't know what she's gonna like so i only asked for those two packs and um as far as pacifiers go i only went with the bibs which my friend also got me in this set like of stuff she got me that and some bottle soap this one is by dapple baby she got me a little caddy that i asked for that i'm either gonna leave in her room or carry around like you know grab for throughout the apartment if i need to grab um and a couple other things but i don't know where i put them now so those were the main things though but as far as the pacifiers go i just thought these were so cute they're just adorable and a lot of people have raved about them they're zero to six months so I got a pack of these. I just bought another pack because I wanted other colors. And um, just a couple of the Avent Soothies because even though those are not like super cute and aesthetically pleasing, a lot of babies seem to like them. So I do have one pack of those as well. And then also she got me the Munchkin High Speed Bottle Warmer. Um, no more crying over cold milk. So I just heard about this through somebody else's video. It's super inexpensive. And she said it did a great job at warming her breast milk so that's why i got it um or asked for it so that's the warmer that i went with since we're already like in the order of feeding and stuff i might as well just grab this since it's right in front of me um this is the baby brezza one step sterilizer and dryer i like this because it is a sterilizer and a dryer um and it was about a hundred bucks so i don't think it's crazy necessary if you don't want to spend the money you can definitely just boil water sterilize them you know and let them dry the bottles and nipples and stuff but i asked for it and i was able to get it which is really sweet of my friend who did get it for me but i just think it's a cool little gadget to have and i didn't ask for many things like this so um i figure i can also sterilize like her teethers and i don't know i just wanted like a nicer sterilizing system than the basic kind of boil water situation but hey if you're on a budget that works just just as good so that's this I should have mentioned this before when I was talking about the security or not security camera the baby monitor and the other kind of product for the heartbeat but this is the VTAC digital audio monitor so my sister-in-law recommended me this she has two kids and she said that sometimes you know especially when they get older you're not going to need the video one and sometimes you just want to hear what's going on so she told me to grab this um and i just went off her recommendation so i did grab this humidifier so i went with this humidifier this is also one that she has there are a couple that are out there but this one i think is the most popular that i've personally seen um and so it's just a basic humidifier but it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than I would think like other ones that I've seen that are like animals and like all these crazy things. Like it's just a white, <laughs> like simple humidifier. So that is the humidifier that I chose. Baby carriers. So I asked for these two baby carriers. I actually asked for one other one that I want to buy on my own because I didn't get it. And it's by a totally different company that's not sold on Bye Bye Baby. It's I don't even know what it's called now because I'm having a pregnancy brain moment, but um, I do want to purchase that one. Also, it's another kind of wrap system like this one. This one is the Baby Catan, but the fun thing or cool thing or good thing about this one and the other one that I want is that it's basically already wrapped for you. I did not think that I would be able to grasp that whole wrapping thing and like when I'm in a rush or I need to get the baby in, I just wanted to be able to get her in without having to worry about tying all this stuff. I've seen a lot of videos now about it and I feel like I could do it, but why not make your life easier, right? Like, it's already done. So, you can wear this a couple different ways. I went on with a small base on the size chart and I did get it in black. Um, it just shows blue on the cover. This one is also the active one and I think the only difference between the active one and the regular one is this one is just a little bit more breathable. So, I think that'll be good for like this summer and spring just has like little holes in it almost like a meshy kind of material I think so that's the one carrier that I went with mostly for me and then mostly for my husband I asked for the Ergo Baby All Positions Baby Carrier um, I was between this one and the Baby Bijorn but this one I just heard a lot more things about so I just went with this one 
but um, I think they're both good carriers and yeah my husband will probably use this more than I will because I really like the wrap systems but um, it's just good to have options so those are the two I went with my dogs are barking at absolutely nothing like literally they're just looking out the window and if there's a leaf that blows by they bark so I'm so sorry for how annoying that is in the back of my video but can't really do much about that Okay, so for my baby bag, I went super basic. I just got a black backpack. Um, this is by Skip Hop. I just wanted something easy, uh, no fuss, white clean, like just, I don't know. I didn't go fancy. Of course, I love all the leather ones and all the really pretty ones that people like um, too, but I just didn't know what I was gonna like. I've never had to use a baby bag before, so I wanted something just as easy and compact but still roomy as possible and then also by skip hop i was recommended by my sister-in-law to get this this is a like travel kind of changing pad um but you can put like your wipes here whatever extra bits and goodies that you need diaper creams and you don't have to worry about taking your entire diaper bag mostly i'm thinking like when you're you have this in your car and you're just gonna go into a restaurant quick and you don't want to bring everything just grab this if you need to change the baby so I thought that was a smart thing to ask for so again by skip hop and I didn't get this in black I got it in gray because I wanted it to be easy to find just in case things get a little bit chaotic I know I'm looking for like a gray little pouch when everything else is usually like black like my strollers black this is black I just like very nice neutral black things most of the time so I went with gray for this one. <laughs> Ooh, I got changed positions here sitting on the floor eight months pregnant is not uh, not so comfortable <laughs> so this was kind of random I didn't see anybody talking about this I personally just picked it out but um this is kind of like a pillow for the baby to lay but also help with the head where um, the head doesn't get flat it has like a little hole so that the head can stay rounded and then also just make it a little bit more comfortable really quick I just wanted to mention because I don't know where it is right now I did pick up the outlet sock just the sock um, and the little base that goes with the sock just to have her wear it when she's sleeping and napping because I'm a first-time mom I'm a little bit of a hypochondriac I'm a little bit scared of like things going wrong so I rather just have it so I did buy that I would recommend it um, I haven't used it yet but just what I've read I would recommend it to any nervous mom out there or any mom that just needs like a little bit more peace of mind it is pricey but to me from what I've read on people's testimonies and things like that it's worth it so I did buy that I'll insert a picture here for you guys if you don't know what I'm talking about and I will link it down below okay let's go into some bath stuff um, I did ask for the Mustela newborn arrival gift set and the baby Gannix gift set so um, both have shampoo conditioner I believe lotion bubble bath foaming shampoo dish soap um, bottle soap or foaming dish and bottle soap toy and table high chair wipes and alcohol free hand sanitizer so that's all in the baby Gamex one this one is more meant for babies with like cradle cap and things like that and it's supposed to be really good for that so that's why I wanted to put this one as well as this one because I don't know how she's gonna come out obviously so I just want to be prepared but both are really great brands so those are the two I went with for her in the beginning. They're just, you know, sensitive and they're little tiny babies. So I didn't want to get any like Johnson & Johnson or anything like that. I wanted to stick with those two for the beginning, see how it goes. And then once she's older, I don't think it matters as much like what kind of things that you use on them as far as like baby brands, not anything crazy. <laughs> with that, I did ask for just a six pack of washcloths. Those are from Burt's Bees. They're organic. I asked for a bunch of Burt's Bees stuff. Then I had asked for different um, towels, but this is fine too. These are called the, or the brand is called Just Born, and they're two hooded towels. I don't think you need more than two in the beginning, um, so I didn't ask for anything else except a pack of two. And again, a different brand than I asked for, but I love that they're neutral and they're not like crazy colors or anything, and I'm sure those will suffice. My mother-in-law picked this up for me. I didn't ask for it, but I knew I would need it eventually, so it's just, it's nice that she picked it up. This is to cover the bath 
cub like little spout just to protect it because you know you don't want your baby to hit their head but again I didn't ask for it because I know she's not gonna need this anytime soon but good to have and then along with that we are registered for this waterfall bath rinser just to make it easier is this something you 100% need I don't think so it's like seven bucks if you want to use a cup you absolutely can but again I threw it on there and somebody got it so that's that and I think that's all the bath stuff for the most part so let's see what else we got here so this is the Frida baby the big bundle of joy set it comes with the I think this is called the windy for gas the like snot sucker which I actually had somebody somebody bought me another like an extra because you're gonna need one for your diaper bag or for daycare or whatever you plan on doing you're gonna need extras um, this is the bottle I think it's called um, for postpartum nail filer and clipper and then a thermometer so this set was about a hundred bucks like right under a hundred I believe but excuse me I think it's totally worth it okay so the next thing in front of me are all her sheets um, for the crib and for the bassinet again I went with um, Brit's babies organic I just did two of each in white um, I think you could even use another one because God only knows what's going to happen with their accidents and stuff, but I started with that. And then somebody was nice enough to get me some pottery back barn sheets that I didn't register for. So I do have, oh, I think this has, oh this one has like little pandas on it. This one is definitely more my style. This one is really cute actually, like this is something I would have picked out. Very neutral, minimal vibe, but just like super cute. So we have two more crib sheets here, and I'll probably put this one on her crib. I don't know, I have to see how it goes with the decor. Her nursery is very white, beige, minimal. It's not um, crazy colors or anything, so that might be a cute sheet set to throw on there, even though I had another one in mind. So I'll have to see. And then we did get a five pack of burp cloths. This is also by Bird's Bees. I did want the, um, diaper, what's it called, the cloth diapers to use as birth cloths, so I have to pick those up with some gift cards that we received because those are the best. So I know a lot of people know about that trick, but I'll link them down below if you don't because those are going to be your best birth cloths ever and they're just white, like basic. <laughs> um, my pump, my breast pump is in the closet. I did get it through insurance, so I didn't want to mention it on this video because this is not a what I bought video. <laughs> um, but it is the Medela one. I just went with the basic Medela one through my insurance and I wanna get the LV pump for when I go back to work. I'll probably purchase that myself. But I also asked for the Haka, which is the silicone breast pump. I'm really excited to have this. I've only heard really good things. So this just goes on one boob while you're feeding your baby on the other or, you know, if you want to use it as a pump you can but that's how I'm gonna use it as a like let down holder collector <laughs> so got that and then also this is gonna be my kind of freezer or how do I say it like a you know a bag to keep the, the milk cold when I'm out and about or I'm at work and I have to store the milk for the baby this is supposed to be one of the best ones um, recommended from my sister-in-law <laughs> she has I don't know if I mentioned that she has two kids under the age of three so she knows what she's talking about she's done this so I went with pretty much a, I went with a lot of her recommendations I asked for two of these actually so I'm gonna pick up another one so I have one for work and one for daycare I'll just throw this in because this is with the bath stuff this is the Frida Derma Frida Frida baby um, skin soother set you can wash their hair, wash their body. It's like silicone and it's supposed to be good for a cradle cap. And um, it's bacteria resistant, no dry time, built in baby massage. So I think this was fairly inexpensive and just good to have. Forgot to mention this when I was talking about bottles. This was the other thing that my friend got me that I was like, there's something else. Um, I registered for this bottle drying set, cleaning set, whatever you want to call it. Bottle and cup cleaning set. There you go. This is by OXO Tot, and I just went with this one because it was fairly inexpensive. It comes with everything you need. I didn't want to do the boom grass kind of situation that everybody loves. 
just because, I don't know, I didn't really love the thought of like all the little grass parts like and the water getting stuck in there. It kind of grossed me out. <laughs> like I know it's aesthetically pleasing, but I wasn't about it. Like this just seems more separated and easy to clean. So I don't know, that's why I registered for this one. But I would say definitely register for some kind of drying rack. They have so many different kinds. Next up is this seat cover. This is for the um, car seat to keep her warm. She is due in April. Anything can happen between March, April, and May, I wanna say. Once we're in June, like we're in the clear. But you never know, we can get a snowstorm, it can be really cold, it can be a little mild. I just wanna be prepared, um, and I can use this for the next baby, depending on when they're born. So I figured I would get it, because I don't know, she's not gonna be in that car seat like that long into needing something this warm. Does that make sense? But just I just wanted to mention that this one is one that goes over the car seat you don't want one that goes in the car seat because that's just not safe so if you are looking for something like that make sure you get one that goes around the car seat and they make all different brands this one's by or all different ones by all different brands this one's by jj cole and yeah just simple black i actually didn't register for these i just or i did but nobody picked them up so i just picked them up they're just mirrors nothing fancy but it is a necessity i think mirrors for the car seat when you put the baby in the car you need to be able to see what she's doing um so i got one for me and one for my husband i picked them up off of amazon and then for a sound machine i don't know where i put the box because i actually opened it already and i've been sleeping with it because it's just that good <laughs> i just love like hearing the sound of the rain or using the light it's the hatch baby um or hatch i don't know if it's hatch baby i think it's just hatch hatch um sound machine which is very popular here on youtube i've heard a million people talk about it but i will leave a picture here just in case you don't know what i'm talking about and i will list it or link it down below and you guys can check it out if you're looking for a sound machine but that what made me think about that is that i did ask for a portable one as well so this one is by project nursery fairly inexpensive um you can click it um or clip it on your stroller i can bring this to the hospital just want to have you know just want to be prepared a lot of people recommended having a portable one as well as one for the nursery so that's that really quick since this is here I just want to show it because it's so freaking pretty um, one of my husband's aunts picked this up for us it's just like a Moses basket she had filled it with a whole bunch of things but the Moses basket was like my favorite thing about the present and I just think it's so stinking cute. Um, I did throw in this blanket that I bought myself. I love this pattern. This was actually the crib sheets that I wanted to buy, but I didn't purchase them yet. So I just have the swaddle blanket for now, but just so cute. I love this thing. Almost done. <laughs> this is like the largest thing that I'm gonna lift. Everything else is gonna have to be shown in pictures, but this is the diaper genie. I'm sure you guys know what this is literally just to throw the poopy diapers in there and have them sealed up. There are so many different ones now, but I just went with the basic one that everybody pretty much talks about. So um, just the regular diaper genie and it does come with some bags, which I like because obviously you have to buy the extra one separate, but it's nice that they start you off with a set of bags. So that's what I'll be using as her diaper pail. And the last big thing that I'm gonna show you before I just pop in some pictures is this Love Every mat. This is gonna be her tummy time mat, her play little gym. It can grow with the baby. This one is like the top of the top play mat. So there's so many different ones out there that are super inexpensive, but this one just, I really wanted this one, so I was really happy that somebody got this for us because I think it's about $140. But you can see here, like that's how the mat looks. It's also a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Um, and it comes with all these things for the baby. And it can also become like a little tent later. It's just, like I said, the top of the top when it comes to play mats. Um, it's really good for learning, develop, you know, all the developmental milestones that they need to reach and things like that. So. Not only is it cute, it's really good for learning, which is obviously the most important part. So I will link or list a picture here. If not, the links will be down below. Okay, Whew. so out of breath. My camera stopped recording like 15 times. This is gonna be a really interesting video to edit, but 
I'm almost done. So the big purchases, I'm not gonna mention any clothes just because that would be an obnoxious video. Like she has more clothes than me, it's it's crazy. Thank you to all my friends and family who did that. You guys are bomb, but <laughs> it's just not necessary to go through all her clothes. It's just way too much stuff. Um, so the big things I wanna mention are her bouncer. We did get the Baby Bajoran bouncer. Very excited about that. I love the color and I love that it's just sleek and simple, but it's really good for the babies. Like. I haven't heard one negative thing from anybody that has it. Everybody seems to love it. And we also registered for the bar that goes over it so that she can play around when she gets a little bit older um, and just kind of keep busy. So I'm super excited about that. I'm looking over there because it's in the corner but I don't feel like lifting it. So pictures will suffice for the bigger items, like I said. Then we also registered for the whole upper baby system. So we got the car seat, which is the is it called I know the color is shade which is black but now I can't remember what the actual car seat is called it will be linked down below we went with the Vista because you can have it for two kids and we do plan on having one more kid so we did do the Vista up a baby stroller the car seat we did get an extra base and we did get the um, insert for when the stroller you know when she's in this kind of part of the stroller and not the car seat, but she's still kind of an infant. This is the infant insert, which was recommended by my sister-in-law, so we did get that. What other accessories did we get for the up baby? Um, I did get a car seat cover on my own, but basically the whole system that we went with was the up a baby um, stroller system. So super happy about that, and I went with that in black. And then for my bassinet for Beside the Bed, we went with the Beside Me, Baby Delight Beside Me Dreamer bassinet. <laughs> Again, I'm reading it because it's over there, but it's heavy. Um, I went with this one just because it was simple and sleek and it looked pretty minimal, but it looked like it will get the job done. And I like that it's adjustable because my bed is kind of high, so I wanted something that was going to actually reach my bed and not be like under the bed because that would defeat the purpose. Um, I would have loved to get this new but it's just so expensive and my husband was not on board with it. <laughs> I was like, what if we split it? Like, it'll be worth it. Not happening, not about it. So I did just go with the basic, you know, a basic bassinet. Doesn't rock, it doesn't do anything crazy. I did really think the baby Bijorn one that they came out with was really pretty and it did rock a little bit and um, it just looked like a really good bassinet, but again, that one was <laughs> more on the pricey side. So we went with something just a little bit more reasonable and I think she'll do fine in it. Um, for our pack and play, we went with the four moms pack and play. It has a insert on the top that you can change the baby in and it also has like a little infant part where she can kind of hang out when she's tiny. And then when they're bigger, they can go on the bottom, obviously as a pack and play is intended to be used for. But my favorite thing about it was that it looked super light and easy to use and maneuver. Like, you literally just pull up the middle and you take it with you, you pull down the middle and it snaps and you're good. Then for her crib and her mattress, um, her crib we went with the Newton Baby, uh, or I'm sorry, the mattress we went with the Newton Baby breathable mattress. They do have it in waterproof or you know water resistant now, so if you want to get that, I would get it in the water resistant just because why not? I think it's a little bit more expensive, but I would say that's worth it. Um, but I love that it's breathable and that just makes me feel so much better. So I did go with the Newton baby mattress for her mattress. Um, and then for the crib, I went with the Baby Leto Lolly crib. I could be wrong. There's so many different types, but I will list it down below, I'll leave a picture, you guys will be able to see it. Um, my mom got both of those things for us. Um, and then for the changing table, this is gonna be the changing table. We just put this together yesterday. By we, I mean my one girlfriend did it all on her own. It took her six hours, but she's amazing and I love her to death for it. Um, she just is really good at putting IKEA furniture together and I was like, girl, I do not wanna deal with this. So she helped me out. Um, but this is gonna be her changing table and up here, I guess I could just slide this down. I was gonna show a picture, but it's not that big. This is the Kikaru changing mat. Um, so we went with the Kikaru one because it's aesthetically pleasing, it's nice to look at and everything, but it's huge and cushiony and easy to wipe and sanitize. Like I didn't wanna go with a cloth one because you're just having to constantly take off the you know, cover, they have an accident, then you have to throw that in the hamper, get a new cover. You're just wasting time. 
I think honestly and if like you don't want to just put her bare on here they do have um like I, I even got some just to change around my bed when it's you know early or late at night or whatever um they're like changing pads like the waterproof liners kind of so you can kind of put that in here if you want but I probably just leave it like this and wipe it down as I go so this is the Kikaru changing kind of pad matte thing it's like a squishy kind of material but we're gonna leave that up here and I'll set up her little changing table up here probably sometime next week when I continue to get this nursery done because it is not done <laughs> and then there's just a couple of other little things that my mother-in-law has at her house um, like we did do like a um, bigger kind of bouncer set for when she's older um, a little uh, seat for her to sit in when she's older her high chair is at my mother-in-law's house but we did get those things as well and then I think we got like a potty for her and a couple other things it's it's all a blur now at this point whatever is here is what I can even like hardly, I can hardly remember except for like what's here so yeah I think that's it I'm sure I'm forgetting a couple things but I feel like if you watch this video and needed to do your registry um, I hope that this helped I feel like it did or it would because there's so many like things to think about when you know having a baby and shopping for a baby there's so many things so I hope that this video helped you guys and I hope that you guys enjoyed I'll show you guys a little bump before I leave and yeah so this is gonna be my 33 week bump date so this is what I'm looking like right now 33 weeks and then this is my belly from the front and from the side so yeah so we're getting down to the wire and I'm super excited um, I do have some more videos obviously that I want to film before she comes so let's see let's see what happens <laughs> hopefully she stays in there until 38 to 40 weeks I'm okay with her keep you know staying in there and continuing to grow so anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the, the comment area I answer everybody and if you have any video requests please let me know as well don't forget to subscribe to my channel it means the world to me like this video if you liked it and you can find all my links to my social media in the description box if you want to follow me on social media and yeah I hope that you guys continue to enjoy going on this journey with me and i hope you have a good day and i'll see you guys in my next one bye